So Logic and Eminem just released their new collaboration together titled Homicide, and not only did this revive me from my month-long sleep to talk about it, but it also revived the Is It Good series from the grave it was buried in with the Logic is biracial meme. A lot of you guys actually asked me to bring this series back, so here it is. I don't know how often I'll do these videos, if I'll even do them that much, but this is a track that I really wanted to give my fully formed opinion on, hence this video. My twin's reaction to this track will be linked down in the description below if you want to watch it and get an idea of how I also felt about this track at first. So with that being said, this is CDTV Productions. I haven't, I haven't said that in so long, it feels nice to say. No longer being harassed on Twitter because me and my followers decided that it's, this is a dead meme and it's not very funny anymore. And I'm here to tell you how I feel about Homicide by Logic and Eminem. When I first listened to this track, I remember saying that I, I quite liked the Eminem verse, but I didn't really think it was a top tier Eminem guest verse or anything like that. Like if this was ranked on one of those tier lists that everyone's making now, I think this verse, I probably at first would have put it somewhere between like a B and a C in terms of Eminem guest verses. To me it almost felt just like the structure to his verse on the Chloroseptic remix, so at first it was hard for me not to feel like this wasn't anything super new or intriguing from M. It definitely is a rapping style we've heard before from him, but since that first listen, his verse has grown on me so much. Like I said, I quite liked it at first, but it's grown on me even further now. More and more of the bars connect with me on every listen, and that whole segment with the baseball wordplay, that was phenomenal. I mean, I caught fragments of the wordplay in that segment the first time I listened to it, but I never would have caught all of it without Crypt's breakdown of the lyrics in the song because I've never watched baseball in my life, so I don't think it's unreasonable that I didn't know what most of the lines were referencing. But hey, that's the fun thing about lyricism. You're supposed to figure it out at your own pace, figure things out in your own time, and you're not supposed to clock everything at once because then where's the fun in figuring it out? But no, apparently if you miss a single bar on this song, you will have Eminem stand coming to you saying, oh, well the riff went over your head on this one, because that's their new favourite line now. Also, once you hear the Chris D'Elia skit at the end of the song, it becomes clear that Eminem actually took parts of that rhyme scheme, where Chris was kind of poking fun at Eminem's overcomplicated style of rapping, and Eminem took that and turned it into something cohesive, and I thought that was pretty cool, I like that. I will say, I think we've got plenty of fast rapping Eminem recently, so I definitely enjoy his guest verses a bit more when they're slower and more intense tense like Caterpillar, just a little bit slower, but this verse on Homicide was still fantastic in my opinion. Seeing as I mentioned the Chris D'Elia thing there, I might as well give my thoughts on that real quick. It's something that was funny the first time. I still love the original video and the original skit Chris made, which like I said was a light-hearted video poking fun at Eminem's rap style. Trying to get up a planikins, all of the planikins, sanikin, fan, fan, panikins. But I really wish they only played like 10 to 15 seconds of it at the end of the track. Or maybe it would even be cool to have Eminem sample a line from Chris in the middle of his verse, and then have Eminem continue on the rhyme scheme from there. I think that would be really cool. But the way it is, I just feel like it's too long, and it doesn't have that same comedic impact when you know it's coming. And not only is it a very slight nuisance to skip that track every time it gets to that outro segment, it's also deterring me from putting it on my playlists, because I want all the tracks on there to just, you know, flow smoothly into each other. Like I said, it was funny the first time, but it just lost its impact on all repeated listens. <sighs> and finally, we get to the part where most of my criticisms lie, and I I I'm sure uh, some logic stands are probably gonna hate this part of the video, but yeah, this this is where most of my problems with the track lie, the, the logic parts. Honestly, I have to say that logic severely knocks down my rating of this track. As a logic fan myself, I'm so sick and tired of hearing these same tropes come up constantly in his music, you know, busting like a semi-automatic, hold up, catch a vibe, all these repetitive lines and all that kind of stuff. And I get it, in this very song, he makes fun of and mocks people who label his lyrics as repetitive. And you know, I saw some people say that was him uh, imitating mumble rappers. 
and, and mocking them for being repetitive, but I don't think that's what it is. I think it's Logic mocking people who say he's repetitive because in those bars, he refers to himself as Bobby, and he doesn't even sound like a mumble rapper when he's putting on that voice anyway, so it doesn't make much sense. There's not really context there for it. So assuming that is him referencing people saying he's repetitive, being self-aware and ironically being repetitive to mock those people it doesn't really invalidate their points. And it doesn't fix the issue of so many of Logic's lines now sounding honestly like pure filler. For me, I think this would even be lackluster if it was just a Logic solo song, but then when you put his verses next to the Eminem one, I, I just feel like there's such a clear gap in the quality of the verses and how well written they are. And obviously, with Eminem, he's, he's been doing this for like 20 years, he's very talented with rhyme schemes and, and, and wordplay and all this kind of stuff, so going next to him is always going to be a challenge, but even as a Logic solo song, I still think this would have been pretty weak. If he had no competition on the track, I still don't think it would be that good. Now don't get me wrong, I don't want to go too hard on him, I don't dislike everything in Logic. Logic's verse. You know, his, his ability to flow with ease and find the pocket on any beat is still as impressive as ever. He probably has one of his best flows on this song. The hook is really rapid. The verses, while I don't think the lyrical content is all that um, amazing, the flows on it are really great. And there were a couple bars that I think were smart, such as the rabies line. With Logic building up to saying that he's so crazy that no one's taking him out, as in like, you know, taking him out of the rap game, much in the same way that someone who had a pet with rabies wouldn't take it outside because that, that's just risky. Keep that rabies ridden dog away from me. But his lyrics and content have taken such a downturn recently, with the exception of Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. That was one of his tracks where I really felt like the, the content was, was fantastic and the way he worded it, it didn't sound like a million other logic lines just crammed into a couple verses. And I do think that on this track, his lyrics should have been stronger when he says stuff like this. But if you ain't coming with the illicit raps, call it yourself the greatest alive, then you don't deserve to do that. Logic clearly wants to place himself in that category of phenomenal lyricists, but it's hard to put him in there when he comes through with two verses on here that aren't really all that exciting. Like, I'm not saying there's zero content, I'm not saying that he's talking about nothing, it's more the way he's writing it, the way he's talking about it, it's so just bulked standard and kind of tired. He just responded to his haters and gave his opinions on mumble rap in the most predictable and kind of uninteresting way. Look, if, if Logic like mocking his haters and, and talking about mumble rap in this way is something that you enjoy, and if you feel like there's a lot more substance to the lyrics than I do, and if you feel like the lyrics are presented in a way that's just fine, all the more power to you, but personally, I just feel like he was severely lacking. Trust me, I've looked into Logic's bars, I've watched Crypt's breakdown of Logic's lyrics, like everyone suggested in the comments of the reaction video, and, and while I loved that breakdown, it didn't change my mind about Logic's verse, I still feel like it's very surface level. It is, it's frustrating as a Logic fan, which is why I'm talking about it so much in this segment, it's something I really want to talk about about this track and kind of get off my chest in a way, because it kind of feels like now when I listen to his music, I'm not even surprised that he's sitting on five unreleased albums. It sounds like it with how kind of mundane his writing is getting. I won't knock his flow because like I said, it's very impressive and it fits the production perfectly. And his references to Eminem on the hook were a really nice touch as well, but I can't help feeling like he was lackluster on here. But hey, to look at this in a positive light, you know, this is only one track from Confessions of a Dangerous Mind and hopefully every other track on there will be amazing. O only time will tell. So as a final score, I'm gonna give Homicide by Logic featuring Eminem and, and Chris D'Elia a 5.5 out of 10. The Eminem verse does keep me coming back, but as you can tell from what I just said, I can't help having that constant feeling that Logic could have came through with something much harder for this verse. At the end of the day, remember this is just my opinion, and if you love the track, if you think the track is an 8 out of 10, or a 9 out of 10, or a 10 out of 10, I'm not attacking you for liking it. I'm not attacking anyone here, it's just, it's just my thoughts on a song. And as always, music, and even what constitutes good lyricism, is a subjective 
attractive thing. So how did you guys feel about homicide? Feel free to let me know down in the comments below and if you want drop your own rating out of 10 down there. That is all I have to say for today guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did I'd appreciate you leaving a like and of course subscribing. I am still planning on doing a 250k Q&A so keep an eye out for that. That should be coming out very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I will hopefully see you guys all in the next one and this is CDTV Productions signing out.